Welcome back to the steady show. Thanks for liking and subscribing. So today we're gonna talk about the rude boy and them, you know. We're gonna hit the like button as it'll come in. Yeah man, rest in peace to all of the rude of them who never get to see them full potential, who never live out them life. Jamaica a long time rude of them I give problem, you know. But the rude of them they on steroids, right? You know, them rude are nowadays, them now work with no code and no principle. And guess who them I blame now? The Prime Minister, man. Make we look on some of the positives of this government. 4% unemployment. Lowest in history. Debt to GDP ratio. Lowest in 30 years. The government I give a scholarship. I give money for God. Heart. Governments have fixed over 2,000 roads, building hospitals, doing all manner of things to improve the daily lives of common Jamaicans. So yesterday I said in my show that me need to see the government them have like a great rehabilitation program for help the conditions in a prison, get the people in mind active because we realize that people are not getting better. A lot of them are not coming out better from the prison system. So I say, all right, we need a metric. I believe in a metrics, you know. So I came up with this metric. I call it RCCR. It is the Robust Crime Control and reduction the first thing to understand then about rccr is that it's not just a government metric but rather a government and community collaboration metric so therefore we look at it in two parts the metric in two parts the first part is to look at robust control that must take place from in other homes and in other communities and we look at robust reduction what the government does when somebody finds themselves in the hand of the law so currently what we are focused on is what the government does when the criminal them already go through all of the phases them and them end up in the hand of the government then you have Indy come and pressure the police them. Then you have Jamaica for justice come and I pressure the police them and I tell the government what to do. But nobody now focus on the origins of the crime and the problem with the rude boy and them in the society and why these forces keep destroying our societies. To be able to control crime, the only way it can be effective is if the community them willing for work with the government. On a see what up at Cherry Tree Lane the other day, Look how much money the government say ain't going to give if anybody can come up with information. Anybody come up with information yet? Guess what? The thing has gotten so bad right now that the people them in the community fear for them life. So not even for money, they're not willing to talk certain things. We have to go right back into the homes with the, with the intro of drugs, guns. The scamming, the rich lifestyle, and all of them something here where the youth them pick up. The youth them now meds like youth used to meds like back in the day. So you have to understand that. Are the values that the youths them are learning at the home? Are the homes make up the communities, you know? Remember, you know, if you're in a one good community and a one bad home or a two bad home in the community, homes in which parents don't set example. If it's a big community, it becomes the exception. It, it doesn't stand out in the community so much, you know? Unless the youth them do violent things. Parents have to start be parents again. A woman control access to sex, you know. The woman never have to start look for who but have picked me with because part of the problem with enough of them youth says that they don't grow up in enough family structure. There was a time when the money the youth them were me. They get worse with kind of richness with badness. Rich badness. Don't has become a big part of what we do right now. We take everything that is bad and we turn it in a style. When them something you know, curtail for our end of the homes, it's going to reach out in the wider society. So when we say it, them learn it from home, what we're saying is that it begins at a tender age. We know that there are influences of, with social media. Everybody want to come show what they do. It's even worse. Them youth, yeah, them have every tool right you now to do bad things. What we really are saying now, you know, if we don't give up some of them youth, yeah, you know, then go face them early grave. Better some of them go in our system that them can get some kind of rehabilitation and discipline. The system that we have right now, it needs to be improved. I am going to get to that part of the video. The part where the government can control, but government can do everything. Intimate partner crimes. We've seen a whole lot of them. The man them a dirt the woman them in some cases 
women are dirt men. And let us not forget women also in a all kind of crime and violence. Just see one beautiful young lady just lose her life in a filly the other day. So we are talking about when we say youths, we not it's not even gender specific anymore. The youth them pick up the wrong kind of values and it's destroying the community because them the value life for all in value is riches. No youth would rather try and die young than to earn an honest bread. When that becomes a big part of our society, then our society becomes a sinking ship such as me see somebody right the other day. Even though I don't agree with it, me can understand. The youth them a sink Jamaica with this crime and violence thing and it's not a government problem. It's a problem in the homes and in the communities where these youths are born and bred. Crime and violence is really a part of our culture. We promote it in our music, we promote it in our lifestyle, we promote it on social media. Because unless we promote better values, that is what the youth them going to come up and think is cool. They used to say it takes a village to raise a child. What happened to that? The village is so divided right now because when you don't have the disciplinarians, you know, which, which are good fathers and the males are strong women for discipline youth, youth them come and they make up their own rules and they become a menace to society. These are just some of the things that we know that drive crime and violence and we are saying that communities must be willing to work with the government to curtail what's happening on the ground. We're going to look for the crime reduction part now, where we want the government to come in now. So the criminal justice system definitely needs to be improved. And we believe in a building proper prisons, if it comes down to it, in which we can facilitate better conditions for the prisoners. And then we start impose discipline upon them. Discipline that their mother couldn't put upon them. The discipline that they miss. They're not disciplining them my yard enough. The youth, them first encounter with a disciplinarian is when them go in the prison system. You know? And a lot of times, because them did already bad, it don't make them any better. It's like throwing salt into a wound. Them are bad men nowadays. Enough of them are bad boys. Them, some of them not even big. So them need to go back to learn. The punishment must fit the crime, serve them time, and to pay the penalty for the things that them do. We need ongoing legal education for police, soldier, even judge, prison wardens, and everyone. Ongoing education. Too many times we see people are style police out the road because the police don't know the law. We need to see a change in that ongoing education so that they can be respected we're tired to see citizen and police a fight citizen are grab a police police are grab up citizen so don't just give them uniform and better technology and vehicle for drive make sure so the education match so that they have way more intelligent ways of dealing with criminals during the investigation process and also during the process where they have to accost some of these criminals. Robust juvenile centers for dealing with enough of the youths them before them become adults. Healthy training programs that promote the development and education. Prison system must have a system whereby eight hours a day prisoner have to in a some kind of formal program. Whether you're in a one classroom, you learn a trade, or you do some kind of work. Then I say one time prisoner used to make license plate figure out some things they can do behind bars learn from the private prison system in the usa which is a big business implement some of those things so that when them in a prison them not just sit down and a mastermind things out the road one them in a prison will be placed under some kind of discipline and the one them out the road will understand say if them go a prison it's not about wearing clocks and drinking liquor and staying in a prison and a push badness anymore. It's a healthy rehabilitation system that you put them in. A. Once you develop and you pay police properly, you know, they man not need enough to go in a corruption for the most part. You, know. you can't always stop people, but all, as we say, 
it's about robust prevention. Make sure so the facilities can house and accommodate comfortable visit between prisoner and them picnic. That picnic can learn and them can still be in a them picnic them life and encourage them not to come in there because most people will go to prison them come and tell you say they don't really want to go back in there still. We see situation where bad man after a fight their way to come out of prison because when them go to them realize say no good. But once them get out, it's different. What we are saying is we want them to have some kind of skills and a different mentality so when them come a road, them can avoid certain things. Yeah, man, so make them go to school, man, for eight hours a day and do some kind of trade. The bright one, them, make them use them for teach or learn something. Put them in a some research program and make them, make them go research psychology to figure out why they make the decisions what they make in a life. And have people go in, they go lecture them. Let them take courses in a prison such as they do overseas so that they don't, they don't just waste time and empower wardens and the state police and everybody that is involved. Let them deal with them because guess what? Some people will be saved. People will understand, say, they need to stop waste time on the road because when they go to prison, they won't be able to waste time and the prison is supposed to be the, the worst. So it's, about, it's all about reversing the psychology on that situation yeah man and they want them they want to talk about you know they want them you know we're fully done you know make sure it's said them have to learn to read and write now you know so the fully done one them they have to be priority we're not going to treat them like animal we're going to use the system to develop them so that when they leave prison they can also become productive members of the society and we can create all kind of incentives if them are behave themselves put them all in a some volunteer program bring them go a stage show in a handcuff around police and give them five to ten minutes to talk to the youth them and tell them to love out the badness so instead of treating them like animals treat them like humans empower the police them to work with them and stop pressure the police them when them turn on the heat on police once them turn on the heat on police and the security forces the police and security forces must be expected to defend themselves and we the people must silence People like Indicom and the Jamaicans for justice. When we see them jumping in the middle and act like them a fool. Put in some community program. Bring in back the community, the social club them in the community. Bring some of the prisoners them go to go talk to them. Bring people who've been to prison. Go talk to the youth them. And develop some local football program and whatever. So you now make it too comfortable enough. Because what you are doing in the process is that. You are include discipline. You are teach them discipline so that they can stop masterminding criminal acts from within the prison. So these are just some of the things that came to my mind. You know? So I don't know if anybody else have any ideas, but as far as me concerned, at least, we sit down and brainstorm some politicians in a parliament and get multiple millions of dollars a year i mean a year them i come up with nothing sensible so so go into the comments family and let me know what you think will work so we're just trying to look at it in a creative way to see how we can make things better this is a steady saying like share and subscribe steady